So, I left you last night with this. And I think that about half of that video was sideways because the cat came. Whenever I'm involved in something, she comes over to make sure uh, that she doesn't miss out on a little piece of food in case I'm cutting up some food. So she um, came and butted into me a few times and then head butted the tripod and over we went. And after I finished uh, recording, I looked at it and my little camera had switched its direction. So I left you last night with this drying and I'm going to pause a moment and repeat the magic. Uh, I mentioned that for journals specifically, I'm just working on this April journal, it's fun, uh, envelope journal, hoping that people at home will make one too and see how much fun it is to just glue everything down. They're, we're wandering around our houses picking up scraps, you might as well glue them into a book. It's called a scrapbook or a junk journal or a recycled junk mail journal or a recycled envelope journal. So. It's uh, Easter tomorrow, and after Easter, you might have some pretty napkins left over. Maybe not this pretty. These are special napkins. But nonetheless, they're useful for a lot of things. I buy these because I like the pattern on them, and I can use the top layer. Oh, whoops. That was me, not the cat. Um, I can use the top layer to do... Um, decoupage like this. I'll get back to that. So, in order to do that, and this is very useful if you're low on tissues, I wouldn't recommend using this for toilet paper because it's not made to be the stuff that goes down uh, through the processing plants in water. But one sheet is very good for blowing your nose. It's soft. And then another sheet, if it's a three-sheeted one, is good for removing makeup. So here we go. How do you take them apart without picking away, picking away, picking away at the edges? Actually, you can do this one without picking, without... You can do this one. Usually you just do that. Okay. Now, there's also another layer on here. This first layer here is very soft and absorbent. It's the back's the bottom side of the napkin and that's where you're supposed to wipe your mouth when you pick it up. I've always wiped mine on the printed side. <laughs> anyway, then this one here is a little bit harder. It's got a harder surface here. I think it has absorbency on the other side and this is pretty nice to use for uh, removing makeup or picking up things, things like that. You just take a piece of scotch tape and you stick it right there in the middle and you very carefully pull you see that happening? pull away this one and then you have this nice translucent um, napkin you can use for decoupage. Here comes Felice. This is not the one that knocked over the camera. How are you doing Felice? I'm glad she came for a little a little close-up and here comes Harley. She didn't walk right under it because she got in trouble last night. I just said no a lot of times to her. They're very gentle, dear girls. And I pick them up and say, no, no, and put them somewhere and go, good, good. And then I put them back where they were and I go, no, no. Put them where they were, good, good, three times. And then you can always go into teacher mode and lecture them and 
you know, they pay attention and and they're every bit as uncomfortable as a person is being lectured. Okay, so I put this one on last night. You put it on by magic. This is two parts school glue to one part water. 